Hi, in today's video, I'm going to share with you a photo that I made in Bass Harbor Lighthouse in Acadia National Park in Maine. This was a sunset shoot, and I'll share with you my Lightroom edit session. Hi, I'm Tom Sloan. I'm a landscape and portrait photographer. And in today's video, I want to share with you an edit session in Lightroom of this photo that I took in Acadia National Park at Bass Harbor Lighthouse. This was a sunset scene that we had gone to about an hour before sunset. If you find this video useful, please hit the like and subscribe and leave any comments down below. Let's hop right into the edit. So this is the image of Bass Harbor Light uh, in Acadia National Park. And I created this, this is a DNG image. This is a merged image from three RAW files that I had down here. Uh, I used the photo merge feature, photo merge to HDR uh, to capture this image. So we're gonna start with the bas basic panel here. And I am going to do my typical workflow here. I'm gonna bring down the highlights. I'm gonna open up the shadows quite a bit here. Uh, I think I'm going to go all the way and then I'm going to look for my white point. So I'm going to hit the Alt key and slide that to the right until I start to clip. And I'll see white. Uh, I'll see that on the screen right there that I've clipped too far and I'll just bring it back a bit so those disappear. And then I'm going to look for my black point at this point. I'm going to set it so that we've got a good bit of pure black, but uh, not all of the image, obviously. So that looks pretty good right now. I'm going to just add a little bit of clarity to this and dehaze maybe up to about seven, eight, right about there. Uh, I'm going to add some vibrance a little further than I would typically do and then add some saturation here as well. Okay, so that's pretty good for the basic global settings that I'm gonna change. So at this point, I wanna clean up this image. I'm gonna speed through this and I'm just gonna clean up these uh, spots, dust spots, and this gentleman who appeared uh, out of the shadows when I opened them up. So I'm gonna clone him out uh, as well. So I'll speed this up so you don't have to watch that. All right, so I'm going to start with a crop here on this. So first thing I'm going to do is level the horizon. Okay, and then I'm going to bring this in just a little bit. That's good. Right there. Okay, so we straighten the image out a bit. Next thing I want to do is add some mass. I'm going to do some local adjustments with some radial gradients on these rocks. Um, I could also use a brush on this, but I I'm going to use the radial gradients. I think that'll that'll work just as well. I'm going to up the exposure on this, open up the shadows a little bit. And I'm going to add a little bit of saturation to this as well. Might move a little bit of the tint towards green. And right now that looks pretty good. I'm going to add another radial gradient on the rocks to the right as well. So let's set that up. And rotate that so that we've got 
bunch of rocks covered. And once again, I'm gonna do a similar, open up the shadows a bit. And that's all I wanna do, very simple. Now I wanna add a mass for the sky. Okay, so we have the mass for the sky right now, and I just want to bring down the exposure on this. Lost some detail. Bring down the highlights too. And I want to add a little bit of a little bit more glow to that, so I'm going to warm that up. And I'm also going to add a little magenta to the sky, just a little bit. Saturation, right there, and a little bit of dehaze. I'll show you the extreme of the dehaze. It really darkens it down. You don't want that. I do want a little bit of dehaze in the image. Okay, so now I want to add to this sky, I want to do an intersect mask with a linear gradient, and this will gradually introduce those adjustments to the sky from top to bottom, and it'll make it look a little bit more natural fade at the bottom. And there we go. Next, I'm going to add a brush. I'm going to brighten up the lighthouse here. So I'm going to add a mask to brush on this, on the lighthouse here. So I'm going to just brush on. I've got auto or the um, auto mask on. Let me bring that down. As you can see, I've got auto mask on, so it's protecting me from going outside the, the lines of the lighthouse. And I just want to brighten that up a little bit. Okay, somewhere around there. I also want to add a little bit of warmth to it. About there. I'm going to add another brush. As I look down here, I want to brighten the reflection a little bit to kind of mirror what I did up here. I'm going to add another brush. Add that down here. And I'm, similarly, I'm going to add a little exposure, just to brighten that up a little bit. And also, just a little bit of glow, a little bit of warmth, moving the temperature over a little bit. Okay, so those are all the masks. Let me just toggle that. Let me toggle that off and on. So that's before adding the masks. And that is after. So pretty dramatic difference with those local adjustments. So let me close that down. I can see something that I did miss with the spot removal. So I'm just going to take care of that real quick. Sometimes you don't see those things until you make some adjustments and they show up. So close that down. Next, I want to go to the tone curve. I'm just going to do a very simple, uh, use the preset medium contrast. I think that'll add a little bit more drama to the scene, kind of added a, a good bit of contrast, uh, particularly on the rocks. 
And last thing I want to do here is go to my calibration slider and I want to go to the calibration panel and I am going to increase the blue primary saturation and that will adjust the blues in every color throughout the image. And I like that effect. And I'm going to add just a little bit of red primary. I don't usually do that, but I, I like how it affected this image. So I'm going to show you the difference between before adding the calibration and after. It's a significant difference. Turn it off. Turn it on. Especially in the greens. Uh, you can you can see a significant difference especially in the greens it really makes them pop and I and I like the uh, the impact so lastly I think I just might put a, a vignette simple vignette on this just pull that in just a little bit and that is all for this edit. So I'm going to show you the before. Here's the before. And this is the after. I hope you found that video useful. If so, hit the like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.